guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing well today um, so today's video is actually going to be another tag video and this one was also created by Eva in the city so even the city actually created this tag really in response to a video done by Jerusha Couture and I will link that video below as well but Jerusha was really talking about some negative comments that she'd been receiving about purchasing pre-owned or pre-loved items so even the city created this tag to give everyone an opportunity to celebrate our pre-owned items so that's what I'm going to do today so and first off I have no problem at all about purchasing pre-owned items or something that's pre-loved and I honestly don't even believe that anyone really should or would have a problem with someone purchasing something pre-owned I'm really thinking they were just probably just you know being jerks and just posting something negative just because um, you know if you don't want to purchase something pre-owned that's you know completely fine there's you know absolutely no problem with that but you know I don't understand why someone would have a problem with someone else purchasing something pre-owned but nevertheless I'm going to use this as an opportunity to share with you my favorite pre-owned item so the item that I'm going to share today is a handbag of course and it is the Louis Vuitton Nolita so let me give you a close-up of what it looks like it is, of course, in the Damier Eben print in the back. So this bag, I actually did purchase this on eBay, um, and it is in excellent condition. As you can see, there's really like no wear on the bag, no, no marks, no stains, no rips, no rubbing, really anything. It's in excellent condition. So this was a really, really great find for me. I was so excited when I found this bag because this is actually exactly what I was looking for. So um, this one, as you can see, it is a top handle bag, as you can see here. Um, I wanted something like the Speedy, but not, I didn't really want the Speedy. Um, so this one is a structured bag. I did mention in a couple of other videos that I do like structured bags. So this one will keep its shape. Um, really, it doesn't matter what you put in there. Um, it will keep its shape throughout the day. In my opinion, the advantage that this one has over the Speedy is the handles. So for the Speedy and the Alma, the strap drop is really small here. So this one is really roomy um, and it'll allow for like in the winter time when you're wearing like, you know, heavier sweaters and coats and things like that. It'll allow for you to be able to, you know, still put the bag all the way up your arm instead of just kind of stopping at your sleeve. So that's one thing that I really do like about this bag. Um, also, it does have the double zippers that zip all the way down, as you can see. So it allows you to be able to kind of open it up really wide and access all your things. So the Speedy, I know, especially with the 25 and like the 30, the opening is really small. So you kind of have to, you know, kind of dig in a little bit. And I know sometimes the zipper can kind of scratch when you're trying to get in and out of it. So that's one thing. So that's two things that I really do like about this one versus something like the Speedy. And as I mentioned, this one is a top handle bag, but it does have two hooks on it, like here. And then, of course, on the opposite side that you can attach a longer strap to it. This one did not come with a, a long strap, but I did purchase an additional one. Now, I didn't get the one from um, the Louis Vuitton store. I did purchase one from another website, and I will link their information below as well if you are interested in another strap. Um, I actually don't like the way this bag looks with the long strap. It's just something that I wanted to have just in case I really need to be hands-free. But I didn't, I didn't really want to put the money into the Louis Vuitton strap because it's not something that I use a lot. But I'll show you the strap that I got and it looks like this. It is a leather strap and it does have the gold hardware that kind of looks similar to um, the hardware on the bag. Um, it's not a replica or anything so it doesn't say Louis Vuitton. It's just a leather strap. It's just a dark brown leather strap with gold hardware. So as you see it kind of looks similar to um, the color of the bag but it's not you know it's not exactly the same. So if you want the exact look then you'll probably have to go to the Louis Vuitton store um, this one is like I said it's just a leather it's just a dark brown leather strap um, it doesn't really have the same shine but you know if you just want a, a strap just in case you can definitely you know look into purchasing an additional one but that's not from the Louis Vuitton store now on the outside of the bag there is a pocket on one side and the other side it just says Louis Vuitton it actually says Louis Vuitton on both sides but there is no pocket on this side there's only a pocket on one side and on the inside of the bag, of course, it does have the red interior. And as you see, the interior is actually pretty clean. There is one pocket on this side and there is a D-ring on this side here. And the date code is on the other side of the ring. Um, and on the other side, and on the other side, there are two pockets, a longer pocket and a shorter pocket here. So that's kind of what the bag looks like on the inside. Really, 
nothing else fantastic on it. Um, this bag was made in, let me see. This bag was made in France and it was made in 2005. So I was really excited when I got this bag. Not a lot of people have this bag and that's one of the other reasons that I really wanted it. Um, I was doing some research to see which one I wanted and I narrowed it down to this one. So, so of course I went on YouTube to try to find some reviews to see you know, what other people's opinions were about this particular bag if anyone else had it. And I could only find one review at the time. So her her page is Style by Casanova or Styled by, Ca Style by Casanova or Styled by Casanova. I'll put her information below if you're interested as well. I actually really enjoy watching her channel. But um, that was the only video that I can find about this particular bag. So I watched her video just to kind of see what her thoughts were about it. And that's what made me go ahead and purchase it. So, And that's, you know, that's another thing about purchasing pre-owned items. Um, this, I, this bag is no longer available on the Louis Vuitton website. So the only way I can get it is to purchase it on the pre-love market. So, um, so I think purchasing pre-owned items is a great alternative when you really want something that's of course no longer available. So, so I mean, don't feel bad about purchasing pre-owned items. I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all. Um, I definitely would encourage you to, you know, do your research on the bags. Of course, if it's something that's still available on the manufacturer's website, definitely check it out. Make sure you look at all the pictures to compare it to the bag that you're trying to get to make sure you know the characteristics to look for in the bag. Also, if you're going to purchase something from a website like eBay or something like that, I would definitely encourage you to use like an online authenticator or something. Um, that's a great option. Also, um, sites like Fashion File, um, The Real Real, uh, Poshmark and things like that. They're really reputable. Um, definitely look at their reviews or maybe, you know, talk to some other people who have made purchases from those sites. Um, I think they're great. Um, so, so, you know, just do your research and, you know, don't worry about what other people say. So that is really it for today, guys. I just wanted to share with you my favorite pre-owned item. Again, this is the Louis Vuitton Nolita. And let me just show you what this one looks like on me. you guys enjoy the video as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks for watching bye bye